Oh, boys and girls, a Football Manager 23 Mobile is here, complete with some long-awaited improvements, including the ability to finally do team talks. They've improved the transfer system. The UEFA license stuff that's in the main game has made it into mobile as well. So we are going to have a first look at FM23 Mobile and get an idea of how it plays. Hello folks and welcome to my first look at FM23 Mobile. Specifically, I'm playing this on an iPhone, but it is available on Android phones as well. Just to clarify, this is FM23 Mobile, the mobile version of the game, not to be confused with FM23 Touch, which is going to be available through Apple Arcade. There'll be a separate video on that one. That is a different game with different features. So this is the good old-fashioned mobile edition we've been having for years not the Apple Arcade one. If you are excited for this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there. Let me know you're looking forward to FM23 or just that you want to see more content of this kind on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on as well. As mentioned, I've got that Apple Arcade video coming out hopefully later on today, if not very soon. I've already got an Xbox first look out and my, uh, my big series for the year, non lead to Legend, starts on the channel today as well. So lots of stuff to subscribe for but let's jump into the game have a look to see what we've got the first thing i can see is it's trying to get me to sign up for fmfc which i'm already a member of so i'm not going to fiddle around doing that on here but we've got the uh, the good old store that you always get on this version of the game we get an achievement for going into the store all the all the usual dlc is in here i'm not going to be buying any of that and then in my settings this is where you can uh, choose whether or not you play with the enhanced match engine or not we do have the enhanced match engine because i've got a big fancy phone when you go into new game um you have the same options as ever career mode challenge mode which has all of the usual challenges and it looks like rather than the more advanced challenges being dlc now it looks like they're fmfc exclusive so you don't actually have to pay to get some of the extra ones on there or unlock them in game you just get them by signing up for fmfc which I guess he's better. It saves us a few quid. That's got to be a good thing. And you can do a creator club on here as well. We're just going to do a standard career. Uh, we're going to do it with the same team. I'm going to do all these first looks at Manchester City uh, because they're one of the two licensed Premier League teams in the game. And they're of the two licensed Premier League teams. They're the one that's in the Champions League. So we get to have a look at the Champions League stuff um, as well via Manchester City. So if we... Select Manchester City as our club and then hit next. We don't want to use fake players. Attribute masking is off as standard, which is interesting because it's on as standard on PC. We'll just leave all these settings as they are. And you can see you've got the unlockable stuff on the right-hand side, some of which you can just unlock in-game, some of which you have to pay or can. I guess you can unlock in-game or can pay for stuff like the in-game editor. Uh, we're not going to be doing any of the unlockables. We're just going to be playing the vanilla version of the game. If I pop my details in, there is apparently a more in-depth manager profile type stuff in this year's game. I'm not quite sure what that entails. But I know when they were doing the uh, the announcements of the game, the manager profile stuff was uh, was quite the feature. Oh, wow, we can take a picture. I don't know that I've been able to take a picture before. Here we go. That is uh, that is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that's a new feature, and I like it. So from there, we'll hit finish to set up our manager profile. <laughs> and wow, um, I really like that. That's it's ridiculous, but I do like it very much. I am very easily pleased. Um, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be pressing here. There's nothing actually. The press was, oh my word, everywhere I look, it's me grinning back at myself. It's very skillfully taken out my background as well, which I like very much. So um, there's your confirmation. We have taken over as manager of Manchester City. We'll have a look through our uh, inbox messages. This is all fairly standard stuff from what we've had in previous years. Um, we can select our captain. I mean, we'll just leave it as it is. And that all seems fine and easy peasy i'm just going to get my fm23 mobile features list up on screen so i can make sure i know what i'm looking out for so team talks development hub is a new thing 
uh, which we might not be able to see in detail until we get a youth intake in. Uh, but it's going to be similar to the development hub on the PC version of the game. It's not been in mobile before. Um, so you're going to be able to have more of a, an impact on developing your young players. You're going to get more of a detailed youth academy intake thing and be able to track their development within the development hub, which is handy. Um, increased manager focus is another thing that is mentioned. Let me have a look to see what we've got here. Um, this is just our normal staff stuff. Where's my manager profile? Uh, manager profile, there we go. So obviously having my face on there is is new. Uh, manager best 11, I think that's new. I don't think I've seen that in there before. So the all-time manager's best 11. That'd be interesting to see if that changes from club to club. If you have a career where you, career where you move around lots of different clubs um, and there's more statistics and stuff that's tracked on there as part of your manager profile as well, which is quite cool stuff, quite like that. And then, of course, we've got the UEFA club competitions, which we will show uh, later on in this video. We'll jump forward and play a Champions League game, have a look at those. And then the other big thing is improvements to the way recruitment works in-game, which... I think for recruitment, we go into, we're just fiddling around with all these different options, trying to find out where we go. I'll level with you. I don't play a lot of FM Mobile during the year. Um, so we've got the, oh, there you go, scout results. So we can see who's being scouted um, at Manchester City. We probably don't need to be bringing in Victor Ossiman, Latore Martinez, Alexander Isaac. They've, there's quite a good striker already at Manchester City, but it seems the only players we've got scouted so far are strikers and goalkeepers, how much money have we got? Can we just go and buy another striker and be absolutely ridiculous? Where would I look? It's going to be on there, isn't it? So finances, we've got a transfer budget of £169 million. So I guess we're just going to go and sign another striker, because why not? Uh, let's sign Victor Ossiman. Uh, so the tr recruitment improvements, I'm just looking on the website. Um, it, the way it says it on here, reworked transfer and loan negotiations will give you a clearer feedback on your transfer bids, while other clubs will behave more realistically in their dealings with you. So the other clubs behaving more realistically is a long-awaited, a long-overdue change um, in FM Mobile. But let's um, let's try and make an offer and see what happens. So if we offer fifty-two million pounds, so we've got the suggested term straight away. It pushes me straight up to the. Uh, to his release clause at 86 million. But if we're doing a release clause, we surely don't need to include the sell-on percentage. Um, there we go. So we can hit his release clause, finalize the deal. And then if we hit continue, we should be in a position to... His morale has risen off the back of us making that offer, which is nice. Fingers crossed we should be able to make a contract offer. There we go. So he wants £240,000 a week. You can fiddle around with all these details, but I don't think we need to do much in the way of negotiations. Let's just... Throw money at Victor Ossiman. Um, English FA takes steps to stop simulation. That's interesting. I remember reading somewhere that there was tweaks to the referees. I'm just trying to find it. On the uh, Football authorities can issue referees with instructions to be more lenient or stricter at the beginning of the season. So again, another new thing, and there's an example of it. Um, they're becoming stricter when it comes to diving, which is pretty cool. Squad numbers, I will just auto-pick those. I don't really care about squad numbers. And we'll hit continue again. And now it is match o'clock. So where's the tactics screen hiding on here? We have our squad view stuff. Tactics is in there. Um, so it's got a little tactical induction, which is nice. Always good to have the inductions in game. Tells you how to get this up and running. But I think it's... Pretty much the same as it was in last year's game. We're going to do a vertical tiki tacker. So I like a vertical tiki tacker, and I think we'll do uh, a four. Oh, in fact, I was going to do a four two three one, but it's recommending some other systems. So we might do a four four two diamond because we are going to be having um, Victor Ossiman joining the club in the very near future. So I guess it makes sense to play a two striker system. Do we have the option to auto-pick this team? Uh, there we go, pick team. Um, so interestingly, it's putting Grealish up front with Haaland. We need to change Haaland's role. We can play Haaland as a complete forward. Grealish can be the uh, the support striker alongside him. Obviously, that's going to be the role for Ossiman when he comes in. Um, probably don't want to have Rodri as a playmaker, so he can switch 
to Anka and Gundogan maybe can... Oh, he wants to be an advanced playing maker. We don't want multiple playmakers. We've already got two in there. That'll be fine. Inverted wing backs as well is very Manchester City. And of course, Edison. I don't care what the game says. We've got to play Edison as a sweeper keeper. So we can submit that, go to the match and uh, see what the match engine looks like in the new version of the game. Continue, continue. Um, that's snazzy. Very nice. And of course, we are on the uh, the top down 2D match engine on FM Mobile. This is going to be the big difference or one of the big differences between FM Mobile and FM Touch via the Apple Arcade because FM Touch is going to have the 3D match engine on mobile for the first time, something we've not had before. It's not in FM Mobile, though. So if you are looking for that 3D match engine experience on an iPhone, um, you want FM Touch via the... Um, via the Apple Arcade. That's only available on Apple Arcade, though. You can't buy the game separately, and unfortunately, you can't get it on Android either. Um, Erling Haaland has just done a football goal. How how surprising and remarkable that Erling Haaland is scoring goals in FM Mobile, just like he is in every other version of the game. I mean, the match engine runs as smoothly as it ever, have, as it ever has. They've kind of perfected this 2D match engine over the years. There's very little that actually needs to be done to this. But one thing that is new um, is we do now have team talks within FM Mobile as well. They're a little bit more basic than they are on the PC version. Similar kind of system to how they are on the Xbox version. And um, we can go in there um, and give an upbeat, a satisfied or an unhappy team talk. I think I'm going to be unhappy. I'd like to think we can beat Valencia. And then you can actually single out individual players as well. So if we want to praise someone individually, for example, Erling Haaland, who scored a goal, we can say we're unhappy with the team in general, but we are actually praising Erling Haaland. So that's our halftime team talk done. Um, we can make tactical tweaks if we want to. We're not going to mess around with doing any tactical tweaks. So we're just going to jump straight back into the game for the second half. And uh, hopefully... Do a goal. We've obviously got Osiman on the way in, um, and we're going to have a look to see how the match engine looks different uh, with all the Champions League stuff as well. We're not going to play a full match in the Champions League because I don't need to throw multiple matches at you, but we will have a look at the Champions League draw, and we'll have a look to see if the match UI changes at all for the Champions League the way that it does on the PC version, on the Xbox version. A little harder to do with the 2D top-down match engine, but... It'll be interesting to see if they have made any any changes, any tweaks to that to reflect the fact they've got the licenses in. Silver has grabbed a goal for us. Very nice. And there, was that another one? Or was that, oh, it was the replay. I thought he'd scored the exact same goal twice, but that should be enough for us to pick up the win. We probably could have made some substitutions. It's early in preseason for us to be playing a full 90 without actually resting the players in any way. But that's exactly what we've done because we just we mean business around here. Um, Harland and I, I thought we, I mean it's so quick isn't it you can slow the match engine down I forget just how quick a 2D match engine can play and it's uh, it is all action hectic stuff I think it looks quite neat I I don't know I haven't played the uh, the touch version with the 3D match engine on phone yet I feel like it's going to be a little small I quite like the 2D match engine for mobile um, did I skip over the team talk we were we should have been able to do a team talk at the end there I think I've skipped over it. Let's just get Victor Osiman in. It's got all of the other bits and bobs that you can do the intros and change your settings and all that kind of stuff. But this is going to be us just confirming Osiman. He's getting his work permit. And if we hit respond, sign, boom, we have signed Victor Osiman for Manchester City in what's got to be described as the world's most unnecessary transfer when we've already got Haaland in. We've got a little bit of media interaction here. Um, Haaland will be a standout player this season. I mean, that's a that's a really astute prediction right there. Right, we're going to jump forward to the Champions League stuff now. So I think I've pretty much shown you everything else that is new in the game. I'm going to play through a couple more of these matches off camera and then I'll be back with some Champions League goodies to show you when we get to that. So with one of the big changes being the Champions League and all the way for licenses, we've got to show you the Champions League draw, haven't we? I don't think it's going to blast out the music on this version like it does on some of the other versions, mainly because I don't have the music, I have any sound on on my phone. So 
that's pr- I don't want the Champions League music blasting out when I'm on the bus because I, I regularly get the bus. Um, yes, I would like to attend the draw. So we have all the snazzy licensing. Um, we can look at the rules of the draw. There's not much in there. We can show the teams, which shows us the different pots. And we can hit start draw. So we've got this draw next button at the bottom, which does sit in the same place as the little tab on an iPhone that makes everything move up to the top of the screen. This actually runs a little bit smoother than it does on the PC and the touch versions because it it's not as slow. Um, so you can just keep hitting next and everyone just comes straight out of the pot. I actually think this works better than it does on the PC version. But there's the group that we've got, Leipzig, Inter and Carabag. That's quite the tricky group for Manchester City. Um, it does mean that we'll jump forward into a Champions League match now. Where's our where's our fixtures? Always confuses me on the mobile version when it calls schedule fixtures when on every other version of the game it's schedule. Um, you can tell it's different development teams. Are we ever going to see, see these Champions League games come up on here so I can work out when I'm going to be able to show you on fixtures? There we go. So we will show you. I won't show the whole match against Inter, but I'll get through a couple more Premier League matches. We lost to Liverpool. Very sad. Um, but I want to see if the in-game presentation for the Champions League is different than it is for the Premier League. So we will jump forward and show you that before wrapping this video up. I've played through a bit of this, though. And you know what? It is um, it's pretty smooth and fun. The development centre thing uh, comes into comes into use a little bit more often than I thought it was the, develop, was the development hub. You've got all your normal training stuff in there. So even though we've not had a youth intake yet, we're able to keep track of how our developing young players are coming through. Um, we've got the mentoring partnerships that we can do as well. So we can set up a partnership of, uh, let's say we put Kevin De Bruyne with, um, I don't know, Cole Palmer, is that his name? Um, so we can now have De Bruyne mentoring him that's quite cool. Again, it's it's something a little bit different to what you have in the main game. Uh, Riyad Mahrez wants to go on the transfer list. We are about to hit deadline day. There you go. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne is acting as a mentor to Cole Palmer. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Foden is not on his way out of Manchester City. What is happening? He will play soon. This is the problem with me playing the diamond. Foden's not actually getting in the team. So that's not ideal. We might have to squeeze... Uh, Ossiman has been rubbish so far, by the way, since bringing him in. So maybe we bin off this diamond. Hmm. Right. Let's do that Champions League match. So it is Champions League match day. Ignore the fact we've got a very rotated team. I've been uh, playing players week in, week out, and apparently that ruins their conditioning. But we're not here to try and win the match. We're really here just to have a look to see how the match day experience is changed. So on that basis, we'll do... A relaxed team talk. Laporte is overconfident. He'll be fine. So we've got the Champions League style graphics on there. It all looks very Champions League-y, which is very nice. Do we get any graphic stuff in game to make it look like it's the Champions League? That's the big question. It's got the Champions League colours. Let's get into the match. I mean, there's the tiniest little bit. We get the Champions League logo up at the top there. It's certainly not got that same Champions League feel that you get in the other versions of the game, but they've done what they can with the uh, with the tiny screen and the, the tiny amount of information they've got. Everything is very blue. It's got the right font, but I mean, it's not, it's not that huge all singing, all dancing Champions League experience you get on the other versions of the game, but that's fine. And that is a lovely goal from Alvarez. Maybe he needs to be playing ahead of Victor Ossiman, but we will wrap this video up there. I think we've had a good chance to have a look at all of the new bits and bobs that are in FM Mobile. It plays really quickly, really smoothly. I have just flown through to this point of the season in half an hour of real time, probably. Not sure how long this video is coming at, but I've played every match. There's no need to skip over matches. I don't think there's a way to skip over matches in this compared to the touch version. Um, the Team Talk stuff is a cool little addition. The development hub and the mentoring stuff that's in there, I think, is going to be helpful for people looking to do longer term saves and Erling Haaland's really good at football in this version as well so who'd have thought and I can do a selfie I'm I'm never not going to be happy about being able to do a selfie in a game if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for all my other first looks I'm going to be doing first look videos on every version 
of FM23. So keep an eye out for those. The Xbox One is already out. Apple Arcade will be out hopefully later on today. And my big series for the year, Nomly to Legends, starts on the channel later on today as well. So make sure you're subscribed, notifications on, so you don't miss any of that. And thank you very much for watching.